tafu anke x-sara u Malta f'din il-konferenza u x-qet isir jo sa isir issa fjannar anke proġetti hor mil-European Council of Artists. My dear Claire, thank you for your opportunity to speak on your program about the European Council of Artists and especially about the annual conference and congress. Two different things. The conference is something where we invite people interested in the uh, cultural industries to come and meet with us of the European Council of Artists and discuss an ongoing uh, problem or an ongoing task that we want to do. Then the Congress is the annual general meeting that is behind closed doors. That's when we vote for the new committee and things like that. Okay. I'd like to speak about uh, the annual conference that we had this year that was dedicated to the contribution of the artist in European creativity and innovation. Okay. I was in luck because this year happened to be the European Dedicated. year of uh, creativ creativity and innovation. And Malta had its own ambassador in the person of Professor Edward de Bono, right. the originator of lateral thinking. And Professor de Bono is an old friend and immediately I asked him would he kindly come and open the conference and give us one of his famous lectures, he said yes. Immediately he said yes. The caliber of the speakers went right up. We had Maria Badia I. Cuche, uh, who is the ex-minister of culture in Spain, but she is also a member of the European Parliament. And uh, also uh, in charge, not in charge, I can't find the right word, but also involved in the cultural aspects of the European Parliament. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and she has just published uh, a report on the status of the artist, and she came here to speak about it. So, of the 60 delegates we had from 18 different European countries, all staying in one hotel in Malta where we had the whole conference there. Thanks to our sponsors, um, who are commercial sponsors, uh, some of them, but I can mention one by name that is not commercial, and that is the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sport and Youth, because if it were not for them, we would not have held this um, this conference here this in conference Malta, in Malta mm -hmm. at such a high standard. The printing of the program, uh, we organized as an opening function and uh, introductory uh, welcome drink, uh, we organized uh, an exhibition of artistic photographs by the internationally known Joe P. Smith, our own. Uh, photographer, artist, who for the last 25 years has been taking pictures of scenes of plays that I directed. Wow, that's you see? amazing. Okay. So it was all in the family mm -hmm. and to open this exhibition we had the honor uh, to have President Emeritus Professor Guido De Marco. We couldn't uh, you know, respect these people, honor them enough than getting them an ex-president of the Republic. Can I ask, uh, f maybe in brief, because obviously we do not have the time, but what was the outcome of the conference and also from now on, or rather in the process of, of the European Council of Artists being there, what are we expecting or what are you expecting from the artist to be contributing or rather to be inputting? What is his input? Okay. Don't ask me too many questions because you said we don't have the time. What is the outcome of all this? <laughs> many uh, different delegates uh, reported that in the budget of the country for next year, 
there has to be uh, a and certain peace. amount of reduction mm -hmm. in spending. And instead of cut cutting the fat elsewhere, they are cutting from education, especially the culture part of education. So this is our fight for next year. Okay. Already we had a result. The, at the end of the conference, we wrote a letter of protest to the uh, Ministry of Education in Denmark, where for the last four years they've had um, a program of literature where writers of children's books go into the classes, meet the children, discuss the novel, discuss writing and how everybody should have a go and do this. And we had, or they had rather, 96% positive feedback from this. Okay. And uh, the Danish government just announced as, as from January, uh, 75 percent of the budget will be reduced all right hmm. because of our protest and of course a lot of reaction within denmark itself they have said no we'll give you another four years okay so they will thank you it. european council of artists now we can move along uh, change to the vernacular okay now where we, nobody we understand. will understand no we understand the the concept and obviously the stand of such a council and what such a council has within Europe. My last question before we close, it's very important because I want this to be directed towards the artists themselves. What is the contribution that you want from them? What are you expecting from them? Stand up and be counted. All right? Don't be humiliated because you are an artist and you don't have money to buy clothes and, and you hardly eat properly. All right? Uh, stand up and be counted. Be proud that you are an artist. You are contributing to your nation. Shall we speak Maltese now? Yes, we shall. Right after I say thank you to my uh, sponsors and then we'll come to the end of the show. Thank you very much. Stay with us. <laughs>